Hey there guys, it's Rick Utsa here, live Airgun Expo 21, and I've got Angie. How you doing, Angie? Hey guys, I'm well. How are you? Doing? you? I'm having a ball. Got absolutely no sleep. Well, a little bit. Not much sleep, because last night we were up late getting all this stuff worked out so that we it would work. We should have covered this up, because this we is should've. like, it was top secret. You it, guys weren't supposed to see this yet. But this is it. This is one of the things we have that we've been sort of playing with the last week. Uh, thank you to Umarex for trusting us with the Gauntlet 2. This is pretty cool. Now, the big thing we're going to talk about is kind of look at the difference, differences between the 1 and the 2. And so just for reference, okay, so that is your uh, Gauntlet bottle. You go ahead and take that, okay? That's your original Gauntlet bottle. Um, and um, this, it wouldn't fit in my pocket. Uh-oh. Hold on. What is he doing? Ah! <laughs> Is the new Gauntlet 2 bottle. That was terrible. <laughs> okay, so yeah, where did that come from? Uh, anyway, um, ow. This, uh, so some of the differences we've got between these two. The original Gauntlet did have a 13cc bottle. So anyway, the original was a 13cc bottle, 3,000 PSI. The new bottle is 4,500 and 20, 24 inch, I don't even, 24 cubic inch bottle. Pretty huge. So yeah, so nearly twice the volume, definitely a lot more pressure. Now what does that equate to shot count? Well that is going to vary depending on what pellet you're shooting, but I got a little cheat sheet. Uh, thank you to Umarex. All right, so we're going to just go through a few numbers here. Uh, like if you're in 22, the original gauntlet would get about 60 shots. The new gauntlet 2 is going to give you about 120 shots. What? Okay, and we're at a higher pressure. Okay, so before you were shooting at a lower pressure, getting about 900 feet per second, again, depending on what pellet you're running. But now we're going to be shooting about 1100 feet per second, which means you could probably shoot heavier pellets to get that down below that 900, so well, uh, below a thousand sort of sweet spot with pellets, uh, and still get that killer shot count. And 25 cal, like the 25 was already a great gun with yes. good lots oh, of power. Yeah. All right, I love it, Angie loves it. Um, it was, uh, they're saying here, uh, the pressure, I think that was a little bit more pressure than that. Uh, but they were getting about 890 feet per second. No, well, you know, that's, I don't know. Pressure now on the new bottle is 2100 PSI. Mm. So that is like right at the sort of the limit of the valve. If you look at the max pressure on the valve, how it's supposed to operate, it's around 2100. So they have pushed it right to the edge and you're looking at a thousand feet per second. So, so why did they do that? Because um, consumers were wanting well, more. Well, more power, yeah. more power, and more shot count. So the way you get more power and more shot count in a PCP, generally speaking, you need more volume, you need more pressure, and you need it getting into the gun at a higher pressure. So uh, to get more shots, if you can take a bottle and have more pressure in it to start with more volume, you're going to get more shots at, at more power. So very, very cool. Uh, now... Uh, let's talk about some of the other features. Angie, you've shot this a little bit. What do you think? It's a pretty sweet gun. Um, I'm first thing when I saw it, I was pleased with the new stock, the old one, kind of bulky, and this one's thinner. It's more like the Origin. Yep. So it's it's sweet, and I like the color. Um, the bolt is a little harder than um, it used to be, but it goes to the heavier hammer spring. More well, they actually, I, I I'm going to go look at the paper. They actually say this is lighter. So I'm going to have to pull my 25 out and yeah, double check it. You but should. I didn't have a problem with cocking the bolt, but I've done so many I'm a girl. These... She is a girl. <laughs> That's all right. We like Angie. Right? But I, the way, we'll go through how to make it easier to cock because I just put my thumb back here and use a little mechanical advantage. And I actually had no problem with it. So uh, lighter, heavier, I'm not quite sure on that. But um, it is brand new. It, it is also a brand new gun. We, we've got maybe a few hundred rounds to it, so it is not broken yet. Did you shoot it before I shot it? Or did I, I shot it a little, just a teeny bit, just a little itty bitty bit. But you got to shoot more than I did. Yep. So, And we've got an Axion scope on here. We've got the EDR, the etched mill dot glass reticle, so we've got that. Um, gosh, it's a gauntlet, right, with new skin and a great new stock. It does have uh, M-lock rails at the bottom, so if you want to run M-lock, uh, you know, rails for it. You can do that, put all kinds of accessories on it. Um, you know, one reason why, a couple of reasons why I liked my um, old Gauntlet 25, 
I drove a nail. I was at 40 yards. It was eight penny nail, teeny tiny, with six shots all the way through the two by four. And then I took a raccoon with it. Like, it was awesome. Super accurate. All right. Well, power. you know, I don't know what there is much more to talk about other than maybe we should get to doing some shooting. Maybe talk about how to load the pellets. Yeah. Oh, here's one thing we found. Normally, I would shoot the JSP 25 force. Those were too light. <laughs> they were like kind of going too fast. So we moved to the Mark II heavies. Completely different story. Those things shot great. So we're, we'll go ahead and load it, and maybe we'll do some crony tests. You want to run it over the crony just so people know what it's like? Sure. Um, why don't you walk them through how to load the magazine? If you step in front here, Cheryl can zoom in on what you're doing. Why don't you walk them through that? I'll get the chronograph set up. Okay. Make sure we're unsafe here. Is that a good angle right there? Everything okay. all set? So I'm going to get the crony ready. You spin the top thing all the way around. Make sure you hold it until you get the first pellet in, and then it won't turn on its own. Just drop the pellet. I'll pick it up. I won't waste pellets, especially right now. <laughs> That's right. We got uh, Joe here from Predator International. He said we can have all the pellets we want. He's got his own private Connex container that he's just dispensing oh, at will. Oh, Rick, us. stop it. Yeah, he said he'd give a, a free pellet to everyone who came to the show. A free pellet? Yeah, that's about all he's got. One free pellet. You get a pellet. You get a pellet. No pellet and for Travis. Loaded. Travis gets nothing? Is that what we're saying? What's new? Okay, you ready? All right, here, let's do this. Oh, you do. I know you do. Um, so... If you guys are into air guns, one of the things you absolutely want to get, like the first thing, look, if you got a bundled optic, don't upgrade that first. Buy a chronograph, okay? Absolutely. That's the first thing you want to get because that is the best diagnostic tool you will ever have for your air gun. Get that. You will be pleased you got it because you don't know if your accuracy goes sideways or something's happened. You don't really know what's going on if you don't know how fast you're shooting and how consistently you're shooting. So a good chronograph is great. I use the Pro Chrono Digital Deluxe Bluetooth to my phone. It actually talks it back to me. I can keep easy shot records of everything I'm doing. It actually measures barometric pressure, temperature, all that stuff in the crony. So you actually get all that information in your, in your shot card. So I like that. Let me get this set up here. Hey, Angie, could you put the front of the gun on the plastic and not on, make sure it's not on the bottle? There you go. Picky. Well, I know how it can affect accuracy. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Travis. You're welcome. All right, hold on. Let's get set up here. Okay. You should have a camera on this side to watch me pull the bolt back. Yeah, so what you want to do is put your thumb there and grab it like this. You'll find it's easier. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Let me create a new shot list. I should have had this done, so forgive me for... Rick, well, do you want us to put the mag in? Yeah, go ahead and put the mag Rick, in. do you want us to put the spotting scope on? It, uh, it is probably on. The screen goes blank. No, it's, it it's should on. be set. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so gauntlet two. And we're shooting the, what, what Joe, what's are these 33 something? 33.95. 33. I think. It's <laughs> right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But that what that was that was a test of Joe's knowledge of his own product. Yeah. You think I just sit around all day and watch Jay I, work? Yes, I just I, do, I just think yeah. All right, all right. So we'll save that. Don't look too. All right. What is she shooting? I mean, what is she shooting at? Oh, she's just. What right now? We're just going to get some crony numbers. Let's okay. see. No, you're to the left. You need to come right. Just shoot over the over the crony. I, Don't shoot the target. Don't okay. shoot the crony either. Well, I am over the crony. <laughs> no, you're not. You're shooting the rails. I need a lot of help. You're doing fine. That to me looks like I'm going to shoot the rails. That's fine. <laughs> shoot the rails. If you shoot the rail and get me, it's okay. It's my range. Okay. Right. Ready? We're ready. 868. Okay, so we're shooting 56.7 foot pounds. Nice. Ready? Yep. 866. Whoa. 
so far we've got a two foot per second spread. I think I hit the tiny. 874. <laughs> Eight hundred seventy two. It didn't cycle. Okay. Ten. Eight hundred seventy one. Eight hundred sixty eight. You're done. Eight hundred sixty nine. Okay. Load lock it in. So let's take a look at those results. Okay. So um, we should talk price point. We're talking about four fifty price point here, um, and that is a lot of gun for that money. And we had an extreme spread. Let's just look at the data, right? So if we look at the, so we had an average was 869, an extreme spread of eight. Eight. Not shabby, huh? Sweet. That is yeah. eight, okay? Uh, standard deviation was two. Um, so those are some seriously good numbers. I mean, even if you had a thousand or fifteen hundred dollar gun, those are the numbers you'd be expecting. We're talking about a gun that's sub 500 and it's putting up some really, really good numbers. So now we know what we're doing out of the crony and those, that's like really a good velocity for those pellets. So now let's see what we're gonna do on paper. You wanna, you wanna take some first shots? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let's get it on safe. Okay, I'll go ahead and move the crony out of the way. So we're going to the paper now? We're going to paper. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be fairly difficult because we have a wind coming quarterly and coming down over the top of the, the shed, so. All right, well, let's see what she We're does. We're not all you, Travis. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I'm just telling you, don't expect a whole lot. But we are shooting in real world conditions. Which target you want me to shoot, Rick? Uh, the upper, upper right target. Oh, now the target's blowing around. You can see uh, we got the target moving in the wind, guys, so it's a challenge today. Yeah, this is real world. Joe! <laughs> this isn't the competition. That's later. Oh, left. Hey, you killed that dirt 100 yards down there. Sweet. I like killing stuff, even if it is dirt. Same hole. Nice. Well, I lost the competition. It is a big cocking bolt, isn't it? It is. It's kind of nice though, because you really can't miss it. Yeah, it's huge. The target's moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Man, it hole. is shooting pretty darn that good in this wind. That was sweet. Perfect timing. I'd say it's a shooter, but I think it's a pellet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the magic pellets. They are. Oh boy. Did you it adjust for that two. one, Angie? It goes Travis to sunblock. No, I did not. Oh, stop it. Nice. That's some pretty good shooting in this wind. Just so you guys know, we're shooting at 50 yards right now. As you can see, we've got a good bit of wind that is definitely pushing those shots left of target. That's sweet. That is a shooting son of a gun, what? buddy. Yeah, that's a, that is a good shooting <laughs> gun. Look at you in the... <laughs> <laughs> lie. This is all lie. What do you think, Joe? Oh, um, my old eyes can't see it, so I'm gonna go well, with what you I said. Was, was, he was over here I telling me cheating. good job the whole time, and he can't even see it. Oh, stroke your ego. Stroke your ego. He's <laughs> rooting you on, yeah, Angie. Like just rooting you on. Where do you want me? Oh, you just get right over there. We're all three right here. We're on camera, okay? Yeah. Good. Stroke your ego. All right, so this is the competition, Jim. What was the pellet no, you're shooting really. again? <laughs> I think these are some off-brand. 
So what? Joe snuck over the border. <laughs> <laughs> Had to go across the border to go get him. <laughs> I know a guy who knows a guy. You should use that one. No, trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust you, Angie. I've heard about you. That was actually a pretty good group. I mean, it was, you had yeah. one kind of fly almost like to the bullseye. No, I thought you. it was exceptional. I mean, that was. For as windy as it is. Yeah, yeah. Umarex, I love you. That was awesome. Yeah. That bolt does engage pretty good, doesn't it? Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let me see if I can shoot something. Oh, not bad, Ange. That's actually pretty nice. Now that you can see, you're not Yeah, scared. it's all calm. You see, see how the wind calms down for Joe? That's beautiful. That's just I what you want. Joe. Wow, look at that. Jesus, literally. <laughs> With that cock? That was fast. <laughs> I think it did. Yep. I do like the stock better than the first one, because I hate I didn't really like the first <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it moving. Isn't that nice? I got old eyes, too, because I can't see where you're shooting. Well, I got two next to each other, sort of. Gets there in a hurry. Yeah, it does. That bolt needs to be um, worked out a little, just a little more. Now, Joe, you shoot a lot of prairie dogs. Yeah, a lot of prairie dogs. And you like long range, yeah, real, and you actually like smaller calibers rather than the big bore stuff. Yeah, long range stuff. <laughs> yeah, I like smaller. Uh, so I like 177 shooting slugs. <laughs> how would you how would you feel this would do prairie dogging? You got a 177. <laughs> <laughs> All do right. they? Maybe. Put your personal uh, you know desire. I think it's 22, as it is right now, it would. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I when I went prairie dogging, I would try and get in between 50 and 60 yards. So I would like to see what this does with the 25 knockouts. Yeah. Brought to you by Predator JSB. You know, I have a handful. A handful? I do have some. Would okay. you want to try them? Yeah, I would. All right, well, we'll go get them. We got some time. They ain't in a hurry. And and the gun's awfully quiet, too. They, uh, the, okay, so that was one of the other changes, right? So I'm going to talk to that camera. One of the other changes they did is they went from a single baffle to a multi baffle system. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, why you're hearing there. that noise reduction. Yeah. Thank you for mentioning that. Yeah. And your group is way better than mine. You won. Well, and, and, I can, and I can also so see, Rick, that they that. got a <laughs> barrel band on this one. Yeah. When they went to the 25, they introduced a barrel band. Wow, that one was mm -hmm. weird. Um, yeah, actually, you did one of these. Yeah. You saw it swirl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did. You, you did some of these pellets, huh? These aren't JSB pellets, no, are they? That one right there. <laughs> just that one. Oh, is that the lucky one? Yeah, you should have shot it. Should have, huh? Should have, could have, would have. All right, some lotion on it. We'll move the rest of them. <laughs> wow. So you guys know that Angie puts lotion on her pelts before she shoots them. <laughs> just yours. Probably. I'm just That's down. it. Yeah. All right, my turn. So and you then, want one of these in a 177, Joe? I would like to see it in a 177. Umarex, you hear him? Because you want to drive it like hard power with the yeah. 177. Yeah, I do. I, I want like 960, 980. And why do, with what kind of weight? Uh, to be honest, what I'm using now, um, there's a guy who makes them. He's, I'm using them in 19 and a half and 22 and a half grain. But my stuff is all modded out too. It's yeah. super. Yeah. You're one of those guys that just shoots stock, right? I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. <laughs> Like when I see a Marauder, that's nice. Let's open it up and let's do this. Yeah, I got you. This is a big bottle. Wait, 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 wait that wasn't your what now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfectly sanitary. Don't even worry about it. I've been refraining from touching it. <laughs> that is a long bottle. It's like a teacher's pointer. <laughs> 4,500, huh? That's what they say. <sighs> Me? <laughs> This is me. If it's not carbon wrapped, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna do 4,500. But yeah, it's got a thicker wall container. Yeah. Yeah. It. Uh, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I have to talk to Brad and JB about that one. So who shot what today? 
Oh, he strung out a little bit to the left. Yeah, there, a whole lot to the left. You gotta go top left, Rick. So you were about an inch. You guys are sh well, now. It's dead calm. I should just go. Yeah, quick. <laughs> yeah, get it before the gusts come up again. I put the, the special. No, I put it in mine. Never mind. <laughs> special pellet. Thank you, Angie. Oh, that was bulls. I can see it from here. No, that flew way left. <laughs> How's the trigger feel, Rick? You know, the trigger's got a long, really long yeah, it does. first stage. But the beautiful thing about this is that if you take this out of the stock, and I'm guessing it feels exactly like the Gauntlet 1 trigger, yeah. there's a plate, and you can see every piece of mechanical stuff going on in the yep. trigger and yeah. make your adjustment. And you can see this does exactly that. There's no mystery to it. Yeah, it's, it's so identical. You can take all of that first stage travel out and make that second stage very crisp and they used to have even a trigger pull stop too so you could prevent the over travel sure mm. uh, i haven't taken this apart to see if they still have that but the adjustability of the trigger you can dial this in very very nicely so and i tell you if, if they uh if they go look at my buddy hajimoto's videos on the gauntlet yeah, Haji does a good job. yeah he'll 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 hook you up on how to adjust that trigger. And yeah, Hodge is good at it. I'm sure Hodge has already got some uh, goodies in the works for it. Probably. So what's the price point of Axion scopes? I don't know. I'm too busy hitting the bullseye to give you that information. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should we believe uh, it? He, yeah, he did. He's Rick he did. I did a little mill dot adjustment with my EDR Axion. We were just holding for groups, and you're just, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that one went more like where I was aiming. Made me a liar. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit, like run my mouth. Yeah, I wish the uh, audience could see what the wind was doing here so they could understand how difficult this really is. They can, they're complaining about it. Oh, are they? Yeah, it's windy. Yeah, yeah, one of the bullseye. Banners all over the place, Angie's all over the place. It wouldn't place. matter because we can't stabilize the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Angie got the better group. She did. Sure. Yeah, she for tore sure. you guys up. For sure, Angie, Angie got the better group. I'm trying to adjust for bullseye, and Angie Flack kicked our butt. So, you yeah, know. That's one of the contest, so it don't count. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think we should try those slugs. So, Angie, I'm going to run back and grab those slugs, because I got a few. You guys sent me for the, um, we did the Going Ballistic series. Right. So, I've got a few of those 25 cal slugs left. Let me go grab those. And if you wanted to, how many mags have we been through? Three. All right, we're sitting at right Four. around. Four. Oh, you're nowhere Four. near needing a refill. Yeah, we're at 3,600 yeah, PSI. Yeah. I think it's wow. 120 shots of fill. So we are in good shape. Oh. Well, I'm curious on the 120, if that's 120 like complete, on, No, I, that would be on the reg. So yeah, okay. Well, let me go grab those slugs. And if you guys, anybody else want to shoot? Absolutely. Tra yeah. Well, let Travis come shoot the yes. pellets. Okay, um, hey Rick, can we change it to the next? Um... Yeah, what I'll do is before I go get the slugs, I'll drop the target down. There okay? you go. I'll drop the camera down to the target. Yeah, and then we get a fresh target there. And, uh... Okay. All right, so you go sit down. He's going to lose on Yeah, he is going to lose on Mac. I do like this color. Yep. This, this is way this, better. This than is a black. nice color. Yeah. This is nice. The cheek rest looks a lot more user friendly, too. Yeah. Feels, feels good. There's the adjustment right there. Yeah, the looks like it. Yeah. yeah sweet. So my thing well, maybe is, these. all my scopes have long eye relief, so these scopes are like set up and I'm like crunching in. That's no excuse though. Where's the, <laughs> is, it, is it on safe? Yes. Okay. There's a grace period oh, he, with me. Oh, At least I yet. allow myself a grace period. And I did shoot this did a you? good bit the other day. Oh, okay. Yeah, so maybe I kind of cheated. Maybe it wasn't Wouldn't there. surprise but us. But Rick shot it, so. <laughs> well. Check it out, Travis. Angie's gonna dance for us while we wait for Rick. Dance, Check Angie. it out. Let's see. Look, see, this one's already loaded. I put it in my pocket so you can load your own bag. Hey, <laughs> this is supposed to be a team effort. It wasn't earlier. Angie can load it herself. Well, that was a learning experience. <laughs> this is too. Well, I... This... I'm teaching you muscle memory, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> muscle memory. Now you'd have that muscle first. <laughs> and, and a memory. <laughs> Up. I know. I'm terrible on myself. Oh, 
You need your glasses. You know, I might need yours and mine. I don't have. I got sunglasses. I don't have. You want this lowered? Because it lowers. Yeah, please. Yeah, I'm no. I'm like super high. Oh yeah, that's per yeah. That's good. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when. Uh, down a little. A little more. Right there. Yes, sir. I can't see through the. Put your regular glasses on. I can't see anything with glasses on. Are you just trying to hide my face, Rick? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> hey, are we um, are we on the target now? We can shoot. All right, safety off. No, um, yeah, it is off. You got oh, to put the bolt forward. I, I should have. I just huh? told on you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a newbie, Angie. I'm just learning this. I have no idea where that hit. I don't either, because I can't see that far. <laughs> He's got to get comfy. I got to get comfy. I'm having a hard time here. Do you know where that hit? Yeah, I can see both pellets. The pellets are still in the paper? Oh, uh, they're barely on the paper. It's pushing them way, left. way left. But I'm just going to keep shooting at the same spot so I can... Um, yeah, yeah. So I can see the group, what the group looks like. It doesn't do me any good to make any kind of adjustment. Hey, I, ne I, ne I didn't say I was good. <laughs> I didn't make any kind of a... It's just, it's just brutally gusty. It's actually not a bad group, considering. If we took that one low one out. That's actually, that's probably the best group. Better than mine? I think so. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a better group. He doesn't have much wind either. No. Oh, yeah. oh that totally missed the paper. Right? No, it went through the same <laughs> hole. <laughs> You're just getting your butt handed to you, that's all. There we go. That's plenty. I want to see. All except Here, for the one little one. Cover your head up. Woo! That's sun. Through the scope right in my eye. Nice Thank you, sir. Nice You're not on audio. Um, Which one did you shoot? Top left. Oh. I think mine was better. <laughs> oh yeah, mine's so much better. I think I still kicked your butt. All right. So what are we doing now, Angie? We're gonna shoot some slugs? Yep. Oh, oh. so we should... We put my mic back on. Right, I'll let you pull that back so I can get the... Sure. Safety. All right, let's see the slugs. All right, so we got the slugs. Now, you tell me why slugs are so awesome. Well, for me and slugs, I mean, especially honey applications, um, the, the, the weight that it, that it has, the more retained energy down, down range, you know, of course, the slug's gonna outperform a pellet past 100 yards, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's better inside 100 yards? Is there... If, this is my, my my way of thinking on this. If you're shooting out to under 100 yards, I don't see why you're using a slug. That's what I see. But if you got the area like you do, yeah, shoot yeah. slugs. I guess for me, it's a, more of a safety thing. I mean, I know people okay. who, who are shooting slugs in their backyard. I'm like, why? Yeah. I okay. mean, but, you know, out you know here, testing out past 100 yards, the slugs are amazing. Well, I guess let's find out. Rick? Yes. Oh, they're liking <laughs> Angie. Okay, there you go. All right. Well, it fed well. 
So sometimes slugs don't feed well. Yeah. They get jammed up in there, but that had no res no real resistance. A lot of times with slugs, since the bearing surface is towards the back of the slug too, it's when you it really engages, and a lot of people are trying to tap their their bolts to get them in. Okay. Do you have the other mag? I do. Okay, cool. Do you want me to put nope. slugs in it? No, no, no. Let's just see what we got here. Are you gonna shoot the slugs now, Rick? Yep. Uh, top right target. What do they weigh? Are they similar to the? They're 33.95. Okay, so they're similar to what we are already shooting. Yes. They'll probably shoot a tad higher though. Wind's picking up this time. Oh, there you go. But that's the cool DC. thing. DC. Yeah. Boy the, boy, the wind's kicking. Way high. Yeah, I knew it'd be high. The yeah. BC's so better. Two mils high and two mils left. Well, we don't have the cronia for this one. We can do that. Like we got a little time. All right, so two. Oh, keep it on your sa same entry po aim point. Oh, what slugs are these? So fun. Those are the 25 knockouts. From? JSP. Uh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> are you <laughs> shooting for group or are you adjusting? I'm adjusting now. Oh my. Rick. You're fired. <laughs> there it is. That's a dead whatever. I've you killed want, a lot of whatevers. Do you want to do the, you want to shoot these over the crony? I'd like to see what they do. And you can shoot them over the crony. Oh, I pulled that one bad. He's already there. He can do it. That's true. Probably feeding. Nicely. If I could hold the rifle still, they shoot really, really well. Yeah. <laughs> really, really well. That's yeah. good to know for the gauntlet owners out there. Yeah, that was So is the gauntlet 2 available now or? You know, I'm, they just had a press release on it, so I don't know when availability is, but it's going to be right close. They did, They were kind of up in the air whether they could send it to me because they didn't want to have us do this and then not be able to provide them. So I think they're probably going to be available. Oh, they didn't want to do like Let me text uh, my, my boy <laughs> JB. You know that was all him. Just so you know. What's that? I'll text my, my buddy JB and, yeah. and see okay. what he says. So I would like to maybe put this in a little bit different setup and shoot Mm -hmm. Once it's got seasoned a bit, and or try put, those or put a more. bipod on it, and then put a bigger yeah, bag on the back. Yeah, I think that I think that would give me some more stability on this. Get the scope zeroed for our conditions, but we're just making excuses of why Angie shot better to us than us. So. <laughs> you know, I really wasn't going to go there. <laughs> I'm know? not afraid to admit that Angie beat us. <sighs> you got to give her one. Yeah, hoping I'll get more. Do you really? You got to give her one. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do the crony, right? Hold on, Angie. Hold on, hold on. Now it's safe. Safe. There he's go. out. Good. I would have tagged her myself. <laughs> I'm, I mean, um. You're it. Right there. Um. Okay, so yeah. I got the heads up yeah. from uh, JB. Okay. He yeah. just texts me back. Um, the end of July, beginning of August. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. They'll be available. Excellent. So are they only coming in this color, or will you be able to get black in this too? Uh, I don't know. Hey, could you text JB for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him Joe wants to know. Somebody else asked the same question. So. Do you want a black one? No, oh, some people do. So, like so then you can make leave this and put a black on this, and you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so same weight. These are the same weight as the heavies. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna know where are we on our pressure. Uh, we're good. Yeah, you, you probably we're, still we got, got quite 3, a bit of shooting PSI, in there, guys. So you want me to shoot it? Yes. Okay. We all slugged up? Your show. All right. You do it. Yeah, you just need a call with my JPC. Get a pellet man. Yeah, right. that's a hard yeah, one safe. to live up to. Hey, come on, hair to your right. Just a hair. You Is your phone? Is that? Uh, too much. A little more. Too much. A little more. There you go. Perfect, you tagged it, good. Wow. Hey, Rick, it comes with a scope too, doesn't it? No. No? No.
No, mine didn't. I don't know that it does, but they'll probably make a package deal for. I, I don't know. They 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 tended to not do that with the gauntlet. Okay. So. Well, you know, everyone. I, I always like to pick my own scope anyway, personally. Eight hundred seventy-two. We have a question. Still around a fifty-seven foot-pound mark. Yes. Is this a typical Umarite barrel? Yeah. Yeah, this is the same barrel they've been using. It's a good. It's a very good barrel. Another question. There Can you someone go. repeat a question? I don't have a mic. Is the stock nope. acting as a barrel band, or is the shroud just passed through it loosely? That's a great question. I'll tell you in a second. That's All right, Rick. I'm gonna walk band. over here, bud. Yep. I just want to see something. It has a the sh yeah. the shroud uh, doesn't affect. Um, isn't affected at all by the, the plastic cover. It passes through it loosely. But it has a barrel band. But it does have a barrel band behind it. 869. This thing is consistent. Mm -hmm. Wow. 868. So it only comes in the FDE wow. color currently. All right, so, I mean, really? Five foot per second spread? And we were shooting what eight? Well, we we our average before was eight sixty nine, wasn't uh -huh. it? Yeah. So let me go back to our first list. Here, let me put the safety on, Trev. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to see. Got it. No. Nope. Okay, hold on. Let me get that out. Put that back in. Okay, got it. Good. So our first shot groups with the regular pellets averaged eight sixty nine. Our Shot group. Now we're several mags in, still on the reg. Yeah. Our second shot group with the slugs averaged 869. That's crazy. And the extreme spread went down. Went five foot per second on the on the extreme spread, and still a, a standard deviation of two. I mean, that is impressive. Give yeah. me a little time with this gun. A little yeah. more time. Uh, let it break in a little bit. Let the barrel get really seasoned. Let the wind die down. Less wind. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind the wind. I mean. Yeah. Realistically, I shoot here every day because this is my range. This is not windy. I do not consider this wind. This is calm. Th this is not wind. <laughs> um, so this is normal for me. Um, yeah, this is really, really good. Uh, get the scope dialed in for these conditions, whatever we're shooting here, and these different the slugs. They definitely hit higher. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I think that tells you the BC is better. You can get yeah. these things dialed in and son of a gun. This thing is going to be deadly. If you're hunting small game, you Heck, know, I mean, my goodness, this is awesome. Joe, do you know what the BC here. is of those slugs? Uh, right off, I don't know, and I don't have the internet connection out here to tell you. So. Okay. Well, I'll it's get that. It's on the 10. On, when you buy the 10s, uh -huh. it's on the label. Okay. I'll find that information out and post it later. Well, guys, I think that is... A very, very successful test of the gauntlet. Yes, Sue. Umarek said, should you happen to knock the shroud against something, the stock loop at top that it passes through prevents movement beyond a point better protecting the shroud and inner barrel. That's okay. great. Did you get, do you have a mic? No, I do okay, not. Okay, so what they're saying is the, one of the points of this is that if you knock the stock, it prevents it from going too far out of spec and prevents it from getting out of alignment. That's good. So that is part of this. It also does have the barrel band for stability. So that is actually, it is very rigid. I don't yeah. know, you'd have to really crank it onto something to cause a problem. So. Yeah, I mean, you have to drop it really good or fall with it really good. And if you fall with it, you know. <laughs> I mean, we are at, what, 35, 30, no, well, 25 right now? Yeah. yeah. So we've shot a whole bunch. We've still got a bunch more we could shoot if we wanted. Um, Gauntlet 2, Umerich has done a very good job. I was a super fan of the Gauntlet 1. Um, in fact, the Ergen Pro Shop actually did this. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, it is a great, great upgrade for sure. Just a really, really nice gun. If you guys want to learn more, go to www.umerexusa.com. Yes, Sue? Uh, Umer said the rail will accept either Picatinny or 11 millimeter range. Okay, yes, oh, cool. that's an that. important part of about the rail. Thank you, guys. Uh, Cheryl, would you zoom in real quick here? So as you see, you've got... That's a double cut rail. Yeah, so you've got the dovetail with the slots, or you could grab it with the wide rig. So if you get a scope, 
with any kind of rings on it, you You're can put it on here. Nice. And I have I, a question before you go now. It's super serious. Me? I think it's important. Oh, I have a question. So you live here. You shoot here. Mm -hmm. You're used to the winds. Mm -hmm. How come I got a better grip than you? Exactly, Ooh. Angie. <laughs> she dropped the gauntlet on you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Angie, we'll talk about that later. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it's beginner's luck. We're going to go with that. Rick. I'm not a beginner. <laughs> um, Rick said sling stud, quick connect, and rear of stock with M-lock slots so you can attach the sling of choice. Excellent. Very, Excellent. very good point. They do have that right there, which is your quick disconnect, and then you can do the same with the M-lock up here and get your quick disconnect going. So uh, all of those things, exceptionally good points. Guys, that's about it. We're about out of time, I'm guessing. Where are we? We're we got a little time. Does anybody else want to shoot this while we got it out? I'd like to mention, though, my buddy Hajimoto uh, just released uh, his 100-yard video of it okay. shooting amazing and perfectly calm conditions so there you go. <laughs> go go look at my buddy Haji's video yep. is it a choked barrel would it handle some of the longest slugs or is the magazine it, too it, short? it is choked the it magazine's short okay and so and it is going to be a choked barrel I'm pretty sure unless they're correcting me Umrex corrects me but I would imagine it's choked yeah why well, change something that works good Way to throw down the gauntlet, Angie, from Umarex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to have some more fun today. we got the next segment coming up. Joe's going to be back up. They've got their own special release coming out, brand new today, which we're going to be having some fun with here on the range. So stay with us. We're going to get everything reset, hold everything down with some tent stakes so it doesn't blow away. And we will be back here in a little bit. So thank you guys for watching Airgun Expo 2021. You can catch any of this footage if you happen to have missed it. You can catch it over on gatewaytoairguns.org and also their YouTube channel once we get it edited and republished. Guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Rick Utzel here with Airgun Web. I'm Airgun Angie. See you guys. See ya.